In this video, we're going to discuss a super secret tool in Photoshop. I'll click on the toolbar here and you're going to see the Magic Eraser tool. Now, before it was created, and it's a couple of versions old, but people aren't even aware of it. So you're going to learn something really excellent today. What I would do in the past is I would use my Magic Wand tool and I'd make a selection. You notice the Magic Wand tool, you know, it makes selections based on color variations. And if this number was 32, uh, it selects this much. If I were to change this number to, let's say, 64, twice as much, when I clicked it, it would give me more. And if I made the number, let's double that again, 128. Oh, I hit 26. Pardon me. 128, and I were to do it again. Deselect. I'd click. It would go further down. Okay, so let's deselect. So let's go back to the default, which is 32, and we'll work from there. So we understand the idea of how the, how the tool works. Now, the other thing is, right now, it's set normally. So when I click here, we get that. I'll deselect. Up here in the in the options bar, there's this thing called contiguous. What contiguous means is that when we click, it's selecting things that are touching each other. If we deselect that, it's going to make color selections based on the color, not whether or not it's touching. So here when I click, notice it gets the space in the bars as well. If I wanted to add to that selection, I could hit the shift key. You see the little plus appear. I could click that. I could go all the way down the page. But notice when I do that, it selects parts of the water. The reason it does that is because those colors, those hues remain. We have two options. One option is we can, ahead of time, Deselect that area, or after the fact, deselect that area. So here's what I'm going to do. That area is selected. I'm going to go over, and I'm going to grab the polygonal lasso tool, which is right here. And when I use it, I'm going to use the option key, which is going to turn that into a negative, a minus, so it's going to subtract. So I'm going to click here in one spot. Oh, wait, I'm not hitting polygonal. There is polygonal. I'm going to click on one spot, go over it across the screen, click here, bring it all the way down, across, up again, and anything down there will be deselected. And now, what do I have? I have everything else selected. If I were to hit delete and hit OK, Excuse me. If I were to hit delete, pardon me, I would get content aware. I could check those options, but I don't want the foreground color. I don't the bat. I don't want any of that. So I would actually have to take this layer and duplicate it. If I were to duplicate it, shut off the lower layer, and hit delete, it erases that part of the picture for me, which is what I'm trying to do. Now, that's a whole lot of work. Let's go back some. Let's go back to the beginning of the file. Instead of using all those things, I go over and I use the magic eraser. Go over to the image, and the same thing. Remember contiguous, if it's checked on, Click it off. Now when I click on the image, I will see that, and that, and that. Now we are making, unfortunately, strides in the water. So let's go backwards, Command Option Z. And let's go up one more to there to the beginning. Now here's what we can do. We can take, to make a selection of that water area like this. So we're taking this, making a selection, and here it is. 
Now, what I want to do is inverse and say select inverse, which means it's grabbing everything else except that part of the water. The other option is I could have just selected the top, eliminating the water. They both work. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab the magic eraser tool, make sure I'm not on contiguous. I'm going to erase, erase, erase. And I've gotten rid of oh, a little bit more here, a little bit of that, all that background, kind of really nice and quick. I can't tell you how long that would have taken in the past. Now I can hit the select. Once I have that in place, we have other files. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to Window. We're going to go to Arrange. And we're going to say to Up Vertical, because that's all I need to see. That's the end file. Let me take the fish and put them on this side. And what I want to do is I want to take the Move tool, grab the entire fish file, and drop it on this file. Notice it lands here. And if I were to take the lower file and put it on top, we wind up having a Nemo image in the background. It's a little bit intense. We could take it and lower its opacity some. But you'll notice we want it to look more complete. So what I want to do is I want to take on top of Nemo, I want to create a new layer. And I'm going to take that layer, and you might remember this little thing where we say edit and fill, and we're going to fill it with the color white. So we fill that space with the color white, and we take the white layer, and we lower it to about 50%. So look at the difference. See how intense Nemo is? Now he's less intense. It looks more interesting. At this point, you're done. You can save the file. So you're going to click on it. You're going to say File, uh, Save As. And remember how you save for my class. Let's begin with, we're going to say P2. You're going to put your name. Mine is Bob in these videos. And this is Golden Gate. Do that. Put it in the appropriate folder or file. Wherever you need to do it, I'm putting mine on the desktop. I'm going to hit save. And that's some excellent work. Hope you learned a lot. Thank you.